thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching this train wreck of a video as we bleach my hair today. First of all, my name is Sierra. Second of all, I'm not a hair professional and I have no idea what I'm doing. So now that we have those disclaimers out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at my ingredients to completely destroy my hair today. Welcome to my extremely small bathroom counter and to show you what we're going to be using today first to for the actual bleach. I am using, sorry, Lori, oh, I am using L'Oreal Technique High Performance Quick Blue. Um, I have two packs of this. My hair is pretty short, but I want to make sure that my hair is pretty saturated in it. Then I am going to be using 30 Volume Cream for the bleaching. After that, I have some Olaplex in a Tupperware cont container, thanks to a friend of mine. Um, she did tell me to go to a professional, but, well, we're here anyways. So. Olaplex, then I have two toners. First, I'm gonna be using, sorry, trying to do this all one-handed. First, I'm gonna be using Wella Color Charm Toner T18 for a lightest ash blonde. And oh, I'm gonna be mixing this with 20 volume cream. And then I also have Wella Color Charm Toner T10, and this one's for a pale blonde. But first I'm gonna use a T18 because I wanna fight the brassiness that is inevitable as much as possible. And then over here we have a comb, a white tooth comb, a brush of course, and then I have both cling wrap and aluminum foil to wrap my head in afterwards. I'm not sure which route I'm going, but I figured it'd be good to have both just in case. And mix that quick flu all together with our 30 volume developer. darker roots and then 
the bleach hair. Okay, so I'm back with some clips, and then I also grabbed some gloves, because that's important too. <laughs> Thank you.
this part. I can see that the end is, well, of course my ends are lining. Um, but for the rest of it, <gasps> oh, I thought my bleach job would have been a lot better. It's not looking good, but yeah, well, let me go ahead and leave this on for about um, 35, ow, oh, not, um, it looks a lot like ramen, no, go on, so let me go ahead and leave this on for about 35 to 40 minutes, and then I'll rinse it out, and I'll see you guys then. So it's been about 35 minutes approximately since I covered my head in foil and my scalp is very hot right now and I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the bleach. What I think is going to go happen is I feel like it's going to look very uneven. I feel like especially with how hot my head is feeling that my roots or what's closest to my roots is going to be super bleached. The middle is going to be just not bleached at all and then my ends because they were already bleached are probably going to be lighter but we'll see we shall see let me go ahead and rinse this out now <gasps> okay it looks really bad not even gonna lie honey it looks so bad Hey guys, so I'm back and I went ahead and I rinsed out the bleach and then I put in the Olaplex and left that in for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinsed that out again and towel dried it for, well, it's still damp, but this is how it looks. And I honestly was not expecting this, which I know is like, what were you expecting? Try to do, trying to bleach your hair at home, but I wasn't expecting for it to turn out so pink. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it is what it is. I went ahead and I mixed up that T18 Wella Toner. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on some glove, put on some toner, leave that in for about, um, 30 minutes. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my whole hair and then we'll see how it turns out my... It really looks like I just like slapped on some spaghetti onto my hair, but it is what it is.
here with my next one that I rinsed out with the toner and honestly it's not the worst thing ever. I mean it's definitely not even as you can see but it's not too bad either. So um, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is use this ion repair because obviously I damaged my hair a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this overnight, then tomorrow I'm going to style my hair as regular and I'll post the final section of the video of how my hair looks tomorrow, but honestly, I'm not too mad. I feel like it honestly didn't turn out as terrible as it could have been. My hair feels like straw, definitely, but yeah, not, not too shabby. I think I would make Brad Mondo proud, maybe. No, probably not. He'd still definitely be disappointed in me, but not too bad.